London, one of the busiest and most cosmopolitan cities in the world, the capital and the largest city of the United Kingdom, London dates back to Roman times. From incredible museums, attractions that you will hardly find anywhere else, to being one of the world's main business hubs, London has something for everyone. But what are the must-see attractions if you only have 24 hours? In this video, we created an itinerary ideal for a one-day visit to London. And at the end of the video, we also included some great tips to organize yourself before you go. We want to thank Septix, a number one choice for travel adapters on Amazon, for sponsoring this video. Check out their YouTube channel. To see all the main sites, let's start early. It is 8 am and our first stop is the Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge crosses the River Thames and was built at the end of the 19th century. Over 50 designs were submitted when the decision was made to build the bridge. Join more than 40,000 people that cross the bridge every day. You can even take a boat ride tour that goes under the Tower Bridge for a full experience. Don't miss the two famous attractions nearby, the historic castle, the Tower of London from the 11th century and the ruins of Roman wall which was probably built in 3rd century. It is 10 am, let's take a metro or the tube as the Londoners call it to Big Ben and the Palace of Westminster. Big Ben, a British cultural icon, was completed in 1859. The official name of the tower, in which Big Ben is located, was originally the Clock Tower, but it was renamed to Elizabeth Tower in 2012. Big Ben lays at the north end of the Palace of Westminster, which is the seat of the Parliament of the United Kingdom. The palace was largely rebuilt, but it still contains some of the medieval parts. Don't miss the Westminster Abbey, located right next to the palace. If you have time, ride the London Eye just across the Thames and enjoy stunning views of London or just admire it from below. At noon, let's walk to the Buckingham Palace. And if you're hungry on the way, stop and grab something to eat at Covent Garden, filled with luxury designer boutiques, craft shops, or just grab a coffee or a quick bite somewhere around Trafalgar Square. Ok, now we're in front of the Buckingham Palace, which is considered the most important royal building in the UK. The London residence of Her Majesty the Queen, Buckingham Palace is one of the world's few remaining working royal palaces still in use. It has been the official residence and administrative headquarters for the UK monarchs. If you're there in time, don't miss the iconic ceremony Changing the Guard, also known as Guard Mounting, carried out by soldiers on active duty from the Foot Guards. A beautiful St. James Park with a lake is also located nearby. At 2 pm, let's explore some parts of Hyde Park. Hyde Park is London's main park, created in 1536 by Henry VIII as the Royal Hunting Ground. Now it offers both world-class events and concerts, together with plenty of quiet places to relax. It even features an artificial lake named the Serpentine. The park stretches to Kensington Gardens, home to Kensington Palace. In 2004, the Fountains in Memory of Diana, Princess of Wales was opened there. You will probably need to buy a UK travel adapter to charge your phone and other devices on your trip to London. We recommend purchasing a travel adapter before traveling there. In fact, it is worth buying a universal travel adapter so you can use it in other countries too. This video is brought to you by Septix, the number one choice for travel adapters on Amazon. Did you know that different adapters charge your phone and other devices at different speeds? Septix offers a travel adapter designed to charge your devices more quickly. With multiple attachments, it allows us to charge up to four devices at once, which is convenient considering most hotel rooms only have a few outlets. Check out their website to find adapters that fit your needs. It is 4 pm and let's visit at least one of many incredible London museums. Yes, London is full of incredible museums and most of them are free of charge. From an amazing dinosaur collection to mummies, airplanes and more, there is something for everyone. There are two museums 
located in Kensington. The Science Museum, a great place to see, touch and experience science firsthand, and the Natural History Museum that exhibits a vast range of specimens from various segments of natural history. Or you can even visit the Victoria and Albert Museum located across the street. Check out our travel guide for more interesting museums in London. By the way, our travel guide is a mobile-friendly PDF document that covers the top 20 things to do in London, including maps, links, opening hours and other information. It is 7 pm and what better way to wrap up our London experience than by visiting Camden Town. This former industrial economic base has been replaced by amazing bars, food stalls and interesting shops. The area is home to street markets and music venues, which are strongly associated with alternative culture. Visit a one-of-a-kind Camden Stables Market that got its name from what used to be a horse stable and a hospital. It features over 1000 shops, stalls and even a cyberdoc store with futuristic fashion, club wear, rave clothes and live dancers inside the shop. Check our travel guide for two and three day itinerary suggestions. And now let's look at some of the tips that might come in handy on your day trip to London. You will have to walk a lot, so bring comfortable shoes. Feel free to skip any of the attractions, depending on how tired you are, how early in the day you want to start, if you're going out in the evening, if some attractions are too crowded, etc. Depending on where your accommodation is located, you can even change your plan and visit some attractions in a different order. Or even change your plan and add new attractions to the list. During the winter, days are shorter, so if you want to experience more attractions in daylight, you can visit London between April and September. There are tons of other amazing things to do in London, from exciting museums, fabulous neighborhoods and much more. Check out our other London videos and buy our travel guide for more great suggestions.